It's all based on choices, people. I know what stress is. I fly 300,000 miles a year. Sometimes I'm in four cities in six days. I can't even explain what I went through last week. <laughs> it's amazing. Sometimes I have, I have a half-day seminar to give, and I'll be honest with, honest with you, sometimes my butt is dragging. But the thing that juices me more than anything else, the thing that gives me more positive energy more than anything else, it's not caffeine, it's not alcohol, it's not drugs. I mean, I do those things, but it's none of those things. <laughs> Kidding. The thing that juices me is when I turn my humor being loose in a public setting. I look, that's what I'm noted for with my friends. Sometimes they just don't want to be near me when I let loose. And the thing that cracks me up when I do this are the people that don't get it. That's what cracks me up. I'm in hotels my entire life. I'm always having fun with the hotel staff. They never get it. I was at the Ritz Carlton a while back. Housekeeping knocked on my door and said, Mr. Rizzo, can I turn down your bed? I opened up the door and they said, why, is it too loud? <laughs> she didn't get it. You should have seen the look at her face. No, I'm going, oh, he's weird. I'm not going back in there. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> so I go back to my room. This is at the Ritz Carlton, and I noticed that they did turn down my bed. You know what turn down service is, right, folks? That's when housekeeping comes into your room. Well, you're not there, and they rearrange everything so that when you go back in, you have no idea or anything is. The thing that cracks me up more than anything, turn down service. Does anyone know what it is? It's the piece of chocolate they put on your pillow. We're supposed to consume this. It's a nightcap. Nightcap? Are you kidding me? Chocolate is going to help you sleep? It has the complete opposite effect. The comedian to me, thinking of the absurdity of this, I dialed the front desk the next morning and said, hey, I want to thank you very much for that chocolate. It really helped me sleep last night. Well, you're very welcome, Mr. Rizzo. Is there anything else we could do for you? I said, yeah, I was wondering. Maybe tonight you could put a vial of crack and a pot of coffee on my pillow. <laughs> no, seriously, I think that'll help me sleep. So you're laughing. You want to know what he said? Oh, I don't think we could do that. <laughs> How do you not get that? And the next thing that I want you to do, as soon as you have this attitude of gratitude going for you, tell yourself you're going to enjoy the day. Say it to yourself, you know what, I'm going to enjoy the day. This is going to be a good day. Visualize how you want your life to go. Visualize yourself having fun with your fellow workers, the people you're working for who are working for you. Doesn't matter. Just visualize yourself achieving the goal. And always, always find the laughter within you and around you every day of your life. And that should start in the morning before you leave the house. There's humor all around you. We get so caught up and our thought process on what needs to be done, we let all the funny stuff in our lives just pass us by. How many married people are out there? Raise your hands, how many married people? Oh, there's humor there. <laughs> oh, there's humor there. As a matter of fact, it's essential. I always said, a sense of humor is probably the num number one thing that can keep a couple together. Humor, a sense of humor. But if you read Oprah Magazine, and if you read Cosmopolitan, they'll tell you the key to a healthy relationship is to understand your partner. Oh, really? That's absurd. You'll never be able to understand your partner. The only thing you need to understand is that you will never be able to understand your partner. It's impossible. You'll go out of your mind trying to do it. Hey, I've been married to my wife for 25 years. Till this day, I can't understand why I have to get in trouble for dreams that she has. <laughs> Guys, you know what I'm talking about? You wake up in the morning, good morning. Oh, don't you good morning me. Well, what happened? Well, I just had a dream that you had an affair with another woman. And really, guys, your response should never be, really, what she look like? <laughs> I just want to know if it's the same dream I've been having. <laughs> Do me a favor, go to sleep, get an email address, let me know. <laughs> Humor is everywhere. I take this stuff with me when I'm on the road. I think about these things that my wife and I do, it just gives me such a great feeling. And if you're married, you know you're going to argue, and the arguments are usually funny. I mean, really funny, because you never know what's going on. I had an argument with my wife about a month ago, and a friend called me up, and I said, I can't talk now. We're having an argument. He goes, what's it about? I said, I don't know. She didn't tell me. <laughs> and they never tell you. you why don't, w women, why don't you tell us what it is? And you know something's wrong because we're going out. We're ready to go to dinner. We're in the car. I look at her, and I say, boy, you look great. She goes, mm-hmm. <laughs> and I knew it right there. It wasn't even a word. It was just a, mm-hmm. I say, something wrong? No, nothing. Nothing, there's nothing wrong. Green light, keep going. Green light, keep going. You sure there's nothing? Nothing, nothing. So you let it go. 
20 seconds you let go and all of a sudden you hear, you really don't care, do you? <laughs> Where does that come from? And I look at her and said, of course I care. That's why I asked you. I asked you what is wrong. And then she says something that is totally illogical. Well, if you don't know, I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> well, if you don't tell me, I'm not gonna know. What am I, the amazing Kreskin? And guys, what do we do? The dumbest thing in the world. We start guessing what it might be. <laughs> Don't do that because then you're telling her stuff that she didn't even know about.